Places, everyone. The Funny Simon Era show is about to start. You're directing this one? Of course, why not? All our little friends will be here. Without further ado, here's our first sign. Go away, way. Go away. Come back another day. Every time you go away, you take a piece of me with you. Paul Young, 1985. Tell me how. Gato Loco. Crazy Cat. Chairman Meow. I avoid cliches like the plague. Do people avoid plagues like a cliche? At risk of using a cliche, I say they all get. Is there such a thing as a bubonic cliche? Fist error. Ouch. My knuckles. You okay, ABC letters? I only read the error. In case you missed it, God initiated the Paramount Closet Killer and Paul the Three-Eyed DNA Productions Monkey into the Heaven Logo Alliance after they defeated that toy Seth Rollins in ABC Bloopers 7, Logo Karma. It sure feels good being on the good side for once. And I don't have to run around the jungle eating bananas. And I recruited some new logos for the Heaven Logo Alliance. Sega. Rankin S. MGM's Leo the Lion. Associated Artists Productions Logo. NBC Snake Logo. Viacom Pinball. Viacom Wigga Wigga. Klasky Chippo Graffiti Logo. Moto the Motorola Logo. Xbox 360 Logo. By the power granted me by the heavenly forces, you are all inducted into the Heaven Logo lines. Congratulations, new recruits. We've amassed a powerful army. The Heaven Logo Alliance is at its strongest level yet. Let's see our enemies, the Scary Logo Alliance, try to top this. Has anyone seen Dave? They texted me and said he's stuck in traffic, so he'll be a little late coming in. So who will be in charge before Dave comes in? Dave said I can be in charge. You! Don't worry, Scotty. I promised Dave I'd never mistreat you again. And he told me to watch out for you and make sure you don't get out of line. In that case, let's get this thing started. Places everyone. Roll camera. Cue the shield. The shield! Raffle, 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 raffle. We've been waiting all summer to do this. Okay, Sam. The floor is yours. Thanks, Dave. Places everyone. Roll camera. Cue the... Real Life Pictures presents A True to Form Production Of an authentic film Reminds me of a 1980s band by that name If you're looking for love, call him heaven above Send me an angel, send me an angel right now Real Life 1983 Wow Dave, Tara, Matt, Kenny, Chloe, Alex, Maverick and Timothy are their real life selves And the studio looks more authentic and the rest of the gang is still in cartoon form. Drawn animations as opposed to CGI animations. Warner Cartoons Pictures presents A Looney Tunes production of a Merry Melodies film. Have you noticed I didn't say they are playing my song again? You can only go to the well so often. Well Brothers Pictures presents a healthy production. So, Dave, this is how you look in real life? Actually, a little slimmer than I really look, but you get the idea. Your iron self looks really cool, Dave. Michael and I always wondered how we'd look in real life. Seth, did you screw up the RTX machine? No, I didn't! Even so, in man's defense, Seth's attitude was a bit unwarranted. But at the same time, I did not want to be reminded about the old days where I acted like a certified first-class son of a bitch. 
It was still good of you to let me zap man, no. This is the first episode where one plants another in the ground. On purpose, that is. Usually, it's when we're throwing tantrums. Could you get Seth out of the ground, Scotty? I'm on it. Later, after Scotty pulled Seth Rollins out of the ground and Maverick apologized to Seth for planting him in the ground. Ground Plant Pictures presents A Rooted in the Earth production I'd buy that for a dollar It's super cool that we're appearing in Hashtag IRL Hey, Chloe You got that right, Al Then again, it kind of seems all too familiar to me I've shown my IRL form in videos where I recorded myself But that's beside the point We think you all look cool in your IRL forms I wonder how I'd look IRL So do I Let's leave it to the imagination. We don't want to shatter our current image. Just keep things as they are. Now, if only we can find a way to... Oh, so, there goes my blooper fence again. Sounds like trouble is lurking. Hi! Welcome to the Best Besties episode, Fly to the Moon! This will be Galactic. I know. Yeah. We're proud to celebrate our anniversary with us. Power Warner Viacom Entertainment is no longer editing this paragraph. 2TCA Charges is no longer editing this paragraph. These paragraph announcements cause an NVDA-related Fujitsu moment to occur. Luli. Okay, what the hell's happening here? I want to know too. To put it simply, we were joking around with screen reader lines. Lowly. Elmo. <laughs> Elmo. Elmo's world. Elmo's world? Being in my IRL form is okay, but I'd rather we go back to our usual cartoonized selves. I see the RFX machine in the corner. Let's see if we can fix it. Rhonda and Rita started to fix the RFX machine, but just then... After Rhonda and Rita worked themselves free of the ceiling... Well, what do you know? I'm cartoonized again, and so is this studio! And would you look at me, I'm cartoonized again, too. So am I. So am I. Looks like the RTX machine and blowing a fuse got everything back to normal. I think I like it this way better. And the RFX machine has a case of BFD-itis. Luli. The backfire knocked Rita and me into the ceiling. We can still get the RFX machine fixed, but in the meantime, back to the bloopers. After the rest of the gang got the RFX machine fixed. Cosmic Brothers Pictures presents a special. Pink Sotani Dr. Phil goes into orbit in. I'm free in space. <laughs> This is Taylor Bramford with a special news bulletin. A malfunctioning RFX machine transformed our studio into an IRL studio and Dave and some of his friends appeared as their IRL selves. Fortunately, the RFX machine was fixed and everything is back to normal. And here's an update on Punk Shoot Pony Dr. Phil who had been launched into space by a Luke Sam's free split. Astronauts from a space capsule flying, I picked up Punxie and they are returning him safely to the Earth. Wow. I can tell you're excited, DreamWorks. I agree, honey. Alright, same here, people. We are just in time to go on a tour to the DreamWorks studios. Yes, since they turned 30 years old this year. Oh, look! Leo coming along, that's interesting. By the way... Happy 100th to you and MGM! 
Thank you, and happy 30 to you in DreamWorks. Yes, I wanted to come anyway. Don't forget about me. Oh, and happy 100th to you, to Torch Lady, and Columbia. Guess you're coming as well. Yes, I am, and thank you. Boy turned 35 this year, so happy 35 to me, and Touchstone turned 40 this year. Sadly, Touchstone ain't here. Unfortunately, who knows when he ever shows up. It's okay, Moon Boy. I sure hope Touchstone will hear that. I would agree with you. So did I, and I heard DreamWorks is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. But anyways, let's get going. Alrighty then. Well, here we are, folks. We are in DreamWorks Studios. This place is awesome. This will be a good tour. I know, right, honey? Me too, mom. Amazing place, DreamWorks. Yeah, it seems that way that you could celebrate with us. That's a great plan, Mr. Rabbit. All right, I'm going to put on my space gear. We're going to DreamWorks' studio, not an ASA. Oh, right. Wait, what? There's no way Sonic can be a space astronaut. Well, I am off to the moon now. Blast off for me. There he goes. What happens next? We'll have to see at that point. I sure hope he doesn't cause too much damage. Hopefully. He will be careful. He better be. Excuse me, am I interrupting? Not at all, Erica. Also, look who just came in for a visit. Hello, guys. I am Callum Field, the friend of Stella. Welcome aboard, Callum. Luli, I'm on top of the DreamWorks SKG moon. Hey, what are you doing up there? I was checking it out. You see... I was doing a space exploration program. What do you mean a program? I don't know. He auditioned for a role as an astronaut. What does he think this is? Astro Boy? It's not funny. And plus, it's dangerous here. I know. By the way, did you hear the news that I finally got me TV tunes? <laughs> You think he's crazy? Yeah. Wait, the Astrobot? From the PS5 game Astrobot? What brings you here? That's Sony, damn it. That's Starline. How many times do I have to tell you? Your lines are in the fucking public domain. I gotta take a look at the Spova Tea Store. Not right now, Dijoni. Sonic is dangerously close to being in its headstorist situation. He's on the top of the Dreamworks bed. Nonsense. I am gonna do it. What could be more important than this shit? Sonic, you know you could fall off the edge, right? Cha, I am not gonna fall. What could go wrong with me being the king of the mountain? What is Sonic thinking? Shh! Quiet down, guys! I bet Sonic is gonna survive. Okay then. Well, if you say so. Pokey smoke, Bullwinkle! He's closing in! I didn't realize how dangerous that could be! Good question. How the hell did he get up here? I gotta be honest, this isn't a good idea for him. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Phew. You saved me. Well, I've got to feel your fall, Mr. Hedgehog. I've seen everything you cherish in a long time since I started working here. Oh, okay. Please, Sonic, next time. Please don't be foolish around our moon.
It was an artistic project when we first launched it. Okay, I won't do it again. I promise. Oh, let's stick to this copyright hedgehog. He clipped our f using he's copyrighted with this on here. And why would those pathetic heroes keep on defeating me like every single damn time? Oh right, because in Petra's science experiment, I gotta stop the experiment, but still. Now that's fucked my life up. I need to get revenge on that copyrighted hedgehog on those the best heroes. But how can I do that anyway? <laughs> Ah, this just gives me a fantastic idea. I'll show these bitches how to be a better person. I'll be inviting Evil Penny, Evil Nyko Hilla, and most importantly, the Gross Sisters to get revenge on those heroes. And if we fail, our master will be pissed off at us for this. Uh, guys, we have an issue. What? That's what Focus Features is reminding us. It's just an example of why you have a smart strategy. What is it? I think those evil troublemakers are about to barge in. What troublemakers? Mr. Dreamworks, Evil Penny, Evil Nicoella, and the Gross Sisters. What? No, it can't be. Be prepared, everyone. It's gonna be a tough day. It's coming. I feel it. Get ready, everyone. Aw, oh, nuts. My worst bullies and my evil twin are back in existence. Shit. Mr. DreamWorks has reiterated its reputation. Along with my evil twin. But how? We thought we got rid of these shitheads before. Are you kidding me? That's impossible! How? You know you can't keep us down for a long period. As we said, evil beings will always get resurrected. Hold it right there, evil dumbasses. Huh? What? Who the hell said that? Oh no. It's this and not me. Ha! <laughs> Your life will be over, evil beings. Wow. Stella became Sailor Sakura. Thank goodness for that. Let's show her who's boss now, bitch. I know, right? This is so powerful. Oh, Sinker. It's Sailor fucking Sakura. That's right. And now, evil beings, you're going down. Wait! What do you think you're doing? You better not zap us. Too bad. Take this, you infernal six. Curses! Beaten again! Our master will seriously flog us for this! You said it, evil Miko Ella! Right behind you, evil Penny. Now our plan is 100% failed. Say no more, Nubia. Oh, our aching stinkers. Ouch. Sorry to interrupt the party. Well, shit. Another rude interruption for us people. Oh, shit. Not again. Well, you gotta be kidding me. So, you're telling me someone's making fun of me because of the fact he's trespassing... Who the hell are you? You make all infinite. It's time I destroyed you all. Welcome to my fun. I saw what Sayla Sakura did to my fellow friends. It makes me want to rip my head off. Hello? Good afternoon. Oh, great. Another villain. Don't worry. I shall beat back infinite. Because I'm a video game character, and I can beat back my enemies. As for you, infinite, leave the heroes alone, or you'll feel my wrath. Oh, try and get me. 
supersonic form, active eight. <coughs> Oh no, nada, anything but that. I don't like this, not one little bit. You can do this to me. I can, and I will, die infinite. No, 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 no. Sonic strikes again with a punch. Ha. Huh. Infinite? What the hell was he doing here? He is trying to destroy us, but thank God Sonic beat him back. Hmm. He must have been hungry for revenge. But anyways, good job, Sonic. Thank you. Also, who planned to make Infinite appear? I wonder that too, Nico. I think I know who came up with this. It was Hollywood Pictures Phantasm 4. That explains it. Of course it was him. Also, Mr. DreamWorks? Who was that? He dares impersonate us? Well, Mr. DreamWorks is one of my worst enemies that comes from Sailor Max in Arpas 06. Oh god. Thank god he got defeated. We're turning 90, 90 next, next year. year. Oh, congratulations! Ninety next year! Oh man, I'm starving. I agree, Dad. We agree! Where shall we go? I'm wondering that too. It was a fun hour too. I meant tour. Silly me. Agreed. Where else? Shame on you! Oh yeah. Good pick. Let's have some anniversary food to celebrate! Aw, shucks! Happy 30th anniversary to DreamWorks!